Before the coming on board of the Obasaki led administration in Edo State, there were tales of social economic woes that trade governance. Residents of Edo State no doubt heaved a sigh of relief following the countless presence of people oriented Light Up Edo program being one of such laudable programs. Light is life. The age-long saying came to reality as residents and business owners on Mission and Akopava roads continued to tell success stories in their businesses and social lives. While commending Governor Godwin Obaseki for the project, they noted that security threats have become a thing of the past. Well, if you reach in the night like this, everywhere the, the light, they clean, they bright. So at times we will be bus driver like this. We will be off our motor light. We will drive to where the light reach. We know the fuel light. So the street light is there very nice. If you would like, may even for everywhere, may them put on like that. May the street light just reach everywhere. May we see the enjoy like that. The street light is very there, okay. Because of that street light, at least I can do I can do some few business in the evening. They are using those torch and candles to cause those uh, disasters in our shop, like uh, market burning and all those things. With that stuff, we really appreciate what the government is doing. On his part, the prelate Benin United Baptist Church, Right Reverend Osama Usranlele, sees the state governor's resolve to provide the street lights as a reflection of his determination to give succor to the people. Well, it's uh, quite commendable on the part of the governor for uh, lighting up the city. And um, it has, to a large extent, reduced uh, criminal activities uh, because everywhere is lit and um, as they go they know that they will be seen and so that one has drastically uh, reduced and um, then again it has also made driving at night very pleasurable because you can see your way now you know even without headlights so it's a good thing i would want the state government to extend it to other areas other streets and so if uh, Benin City, the whole of Benin City is, uh, you know, shining at night, is bright at night, I think everybody will be very happy and uh, you can move as freely as you want. And the uh, criminal elements would, uh, you know, disappear because uh, there will be no hiding place for them again. The State Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Neihai, revealed that the state government is soon to put in place 200 kilometers of street light in its Operation Light Up Edo program. He said the streetlight project was born out of the need to curb crime in the state and boost social and economic activities to make life comfortable for Edo people. Having streetlights in the, in the city helps us to improve commerce, reduce crime, and also have confidence of our people within those uh, neighborhoods. Now, in terms of commerce, you'll now notice that lots of people now are able to sell confidently at night sell, uh, I think, rice, indomie, and then literally to commerce to help their families develop. Also, crime is also reduced when uh, street lights are available. The streets are brighter, better illuminated, and you cannot hide from the glare of people. And this government is taking it as a, its number one priority to provide, not only provide security, but also the comfort of its citizens. Before the commencement of the street light project, there were reports of criminal activities which threatened social and economic lives, which gave cause for uncertainty. Justin Egmont, EBS News.